there Best a particular way piece that stands out for you in this exhibition that we've put on here? That's a particular <coughs> piece that, that's sort of new, maybe you've exhibited for the first time, or something that you're quite keen to gauge reaction to? Uh, well, not. I think the one more recent one is the one here, which is called Burn. Um, <laughs> I think in that case, uh, I think it was quite because because I've done a series of those, mm. and that's definitely the best one of the series. Okay. So is it kind of a standalone, or does it sit with any of the other works in the show? Uh, only that there's this kind of sort of strata development, which is, you know, in quite a lot of the paintings, just simply because that's the root of possibly everything that one does, which is a landscape root, okay. and it's more from rocks and, you know, what the earth's made up of rather than rather than the musical rather, well or rather than the landscape the trees and this that and the other that may be something you're vaguely interested in but it's really the root of what it is so even the more abstract seemingly uh, geometric ones are probably also from bits of quartz or bits of rock which are all geometric in form so it would come from that rather than geometric paintings which have gone before Kind of who, who was the first artist that you saw that really gave you like a power? Oh, I think probably, uh, probably Rembrandt, probably. But, um, and that may have been Wallace Coach of Oil now, I don't know, mm. Kenwood, because I lived in Hampstead, right. so it's probably Kenwood. Um, uh, and I still see that painting, and I still think it's quite magic and uh, quite beautiful. But I think the person, uh, recently having seen it, I think it was more impressive than anyone to me and more rewarding, more the feeding ground for everything I've done and hundreds of other artists is Cezanne, you know, just simply because of what he offered us all. He offered us um, the meat and two veg of painting. Now I think when you do the kind of things that I do, you know, and no one's going to sort of uh, possibly think that you're going to uh, do it for them or for any particular person. You're doing it because it's just your uh, creative urge, whatever you want to call it. So is it kind of a bonus then when somebody decides that they love it that much that they well, want to own it? Well, I'm continually mystified why people should ever like anything. I mean, why should they? Why should they? <laughs> I, 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 can't, I can't conceive why anybody should be, that you've done something for your own pleasure yeah. or for your own trauma or for your own difficulties. Yeah. You know, why someone should fit in with that is, is very lucky.